you've been working on your Jeep 4 litre engine and you removed your cam position sensor without checking that the engine was at top dead center. In the famous words of that 70s show, you're a dumbass, just like me. Today what I'm going to do is show you step by step how to synchronize your cam position sensor back to the timing of your engine. The first thing that you're going to need to do is find top dead center on cylinder number one of your engine. Now the video that I'm going to put the link for in the corner over here is going to explain to you how to find top dead center of the engine and it gives you a few options. First thing to make sure is that we are actually at top dead center over there so you can see that the timing mark aligns to zero degrees and we checked that we were on the compression stroke we uh, felt the air rushing out of the spark plug hole over there so we know we were on compression and then we continued to align until we were at zero degrees over there so we know we are at top dead center on cylinder number one all right we need to prepare the um, cam position sensor here before we can go and install it so what we're going to do is we're going to take a 7 30 seconds wrench undo these two bolts and we are going to remove the actual sensor from the oil pump drive assembly so with the bolts out you'll see we can slide the sensor off and remove it from the drive assembly if you have a newer style opda which will have a big head on it over here you're going to do something similar to open it up so that you can get inside all right if we take the oil pump drive portion over here you'll see that there is this shutter or metal window that rotates with the camshaft now on the uh, sensor part of this uh, assembly there is this magnetic pickup so as the shutter rotates that magnetic pickup knows what the position of the camshaft sensor is and sends those pulses through to the ECM so that it can interpret it what we need to do to install this um, cam position sensor now is to actually lock it out so that it cannot rotate and this is the pros process that is defined in the service manual so the first thing you need to look for is this little small hole here on this uh, oil pump drive and I'm going to use a 3 30 seconds drill bit that fits snugly into that hole what you then need to do is look on this um, on this window over here and find an, a corresponding little hole now I'm not sure if the camera is going to allow you to see this but if you look inside over there you'll see this little corresponding hole over here and what you do is you slide this drill bit through the um, through this little aperture over here and you can actually lock it out so what you'll see now is that no matter what I do here it is locked using this 3 30 seconds drill bit now if you buy a brand new sensor it will have a plastic pin in there that will hold it and lock out this position so we are at the point where if you had a brand new oil pickup um, or oil drive this would be locked out from the from the supplier so something to be very careful of is if you don't take this cap off and make sure that you lock it correctly what you'll see is there are some positions where I can slide this um, this drill bit through and this sensor can still rotate inside of there so the best way to make sure that you don't end up in this situation where you have this little bit of rotation still available is to actually take this uh, sensor off and then you can make sure that you pick up the hole in the aperture over there so that it doesn't rotate and if you've got that correct you're good to go we can now reinstall this um, sensor over here leaving the um, drill bit in position because it needs to retain that orientation over there so we're just going to go and install this uh, drill uh, this uh, sensor now the uh, service manual requires you to uh, screw these uh, little bolts down to um, 15 inch pounds so I've got my uh, torque screwdriver over there and I'm just going to torque these down to 15 inch pounds as per the service manual great just double check that this uh, drill bit is still in the hole inside the aperture so you can see I cannot rotate the shaft it is being held into position so we have now um, established the correct position of this um, uh, cam position sensor we're ready to go and install this back into the engine Right, we're now ready to install our cam position sensor into the um, hole over here. Now a couple of things to note. What we want to do is you want to end up with this sensor pointing directly towards the back of the vehicle like that. The problem is, is that as you can see, these um, gear teeth rotate. So when you start your install, what you want to do is you want to start your install at about 7 o'clock over there. And as you slide it in, they're going to rotate into place and you'll end up with a final position over there. So we're going to start at round about 7 o'clock 
and we're going to rotate it into its final position pointing directly backwards. So that's the one thing to, to note as you do it. The other thing to note is if you look right down there at the bottom you can see the tip of the oil pump sticking out over there. The problem is is that this tip of the oil pump drive needs to align with that slot. With my sensor pointing directly backwards what you will see is that the tip of the oil pump drive is not going to be aligned with the oil pump that's down there. So the first thing that we need to do is rotate that oil pump over there to make sure that it is aligned with the tip. Now remember we're going to be starting more or less in that direction as we rotate down. So what we actually want is that that, that oil pump drive aligns with the shaft. So I'm going to use a screwdriver and rotate the oil pump before I start. Alright, I'm going to take my screwdriver now, slide it into that oil pump assembly there and rotate that oil pump assembly till about the 11 o'clock position. You're going to have to play around with this a little bit to find the exact point that you need to get that um, cam position sensor to slide in. But I'm going to start with it in that orientation. My check is going to be that I'm going to start installing this more or less there. So if I lift it up, those two need to be aligned. I think I might give it a slight more rotation to the left before I start. Right, I'm now ready to install my um, cam position sensor. So let's just go through the checks. We've checked that the engine is at top dead center. The second thing that we're sure of is that we've still got this little pin in here, which is locking our aperture. So uh, our shaft cannot rotate. So we're good to go and install. And the third thing that we've checked is that our um, oil pump is aligned over there. Right, so we have our cam position sensor here. I'm just gonna make sure there's a good amount of oil on the gears. I'm now gonna position the sensor at Roughly um, seven o'clock over here, so not straight down, but about a seven o'clock position. And then as I slide it in, it should engage with the teeth and cause it to rotate. And right now, as you can see at the bottom here, it's not sitting properly. So if I force it all the way down, you'll see it's pointing backwards. So I need to um, start it again in a slightly different orientation. But before I do that, I'll just need to rotate the oil pump drive at the bottom again. So I'm going to go in there. Adjust the oil pump to about that position. At about this seven o'clock position, we're going to slide this pickup in over here. And what you will see is as it goes down and engages with the camshaft, it's going to rotate. Now what's happened now is that we do not have the correct alignment at the oil pump. So if you look there at the bottom, there's still a gap underneath there and the sensor cannot go down any further. So I need to remove it again and make sure that we got the correct alignment for our oil pump. Right, so we're going to try and install the um, cam position sensor again. So uh, remember what I said, we orientate it to at about 7 o'clock over here. We're going to slide it through until it engages. And as you can see now, it's slid all the way down and it's seated at the bottom over here. Also important to note is that it is pointing directly back over here. So we now know that we have the correct orientation. This is pointing directly back and it's engaged with the oil pump at the bottom. With the cam position sensor now installed and fully seated over there, we can put the uh, fork bracket back on and use this bolt to tighten it down. Now the service manual will tell you that you need to install the scan tool and uh, make sure that you uh, adjust this um, this position sensor here to do final adjustments using the scan tool. Unfortunately, I don't have a scan tool, so I'm gonna use it just like that. And the last step that I need to do is now torque this bolt down to 17 foot-pounds. So I'm gonna put my uh, torque wrench on there and just torque this down to 17 foot-pounds. The last thing that you need to remember to do is to remove this drill bit over here. Now if you don't, the little aperture inside of here will be damaged when you crank over the engine and so you would then need to replace your um, oil pump drive at the bottom here. So you'd need to buy a whole new unit. So just remember to take out your drill bit and if you've done everything correctly, your cam position sensor will now be synchronized to your engine timing and you should be able to start and run the engine. If it doesn't run correctly, what I suggest you do is you start again with your uh, top dead center. You make sure you find top dead center and then you reinstall this to make sure that you're not off by a tooth. But if you've done it correctly, there shouldn't be any issues.
Hope this video has helped. Please give me a comment, do a like, make sure that you subscribe to our channel for other useful videos.